we kick this one off by applying three cotton pads on one side of the forehead using latex. Then we cover her eye with a regular cotton and be careful not to get the latex in your eyes because that's not good at all. This tutorial comes down to sculpting using cotton pads and latex. The way you apply the pieces and the order in which you do so all comes down to your pumpkin design. So what Ellie does here might not apply to your specific design. Here she applies masking tape to create a more solid and smooth foundation to build on. Coat the whole thing with more latex and then start building an edge around the eyes. Ellie is folding the cotton pads to create a more smooth edge. Use latex on your fingertips to tidy up the transitions between the different pieces and work your way around the eye. Next up in Ellie's design is creating the classic pumpkin smile. And once again we fold the pieces to create smoother edges, but also to create a more solid construction. When your mouth looks great, we can go on with the dental work. Cut out little triangle pieces from the cotton pads and layer them on top of each other. Two or three pieces together makes a nice thickness. Bobby pin the forehead pads to the hair and start working on the stem. We get the round shape from a toilet paper roll, tape it together and apply it to the forehead using latex. Then we take a cotton pad dipped in latex and apply it to the foot of the stem to really secure it to the forehead. Now things get more challenging. The pieces should be smaller, close to the stem, and then expand and go wider as you build down along the forehead. Stuff them with a little cotton to keep them from collapsing. Go on with your construction and make sure you leave a triangular hole for the nose. A little chin fixer upper. If you get an itch, use a swab. The whole swab and nothing but the swab. Then paint black around the mouth, in the eyes and in the nose using oil based face paint. We continue with the stem again and now we fold each cotton pad carefully to create the creases in the stem. Apply a little top and then put your face in a fan. And while you wait for the latex to set, you can brush up on some of that Picasso work. Ellie switches between brown and orange until she gets the look she wants. At this stage you can pretty much go mental with your choice of colors. Our approach is more towards the dark and the scary. A green stem with a little brown in the creases looks really, really good. The trick is to get the darker shades in the hollow areas and in the creases. This enhances the already present 3D effect. Then it's time for Tingel Tangel, as we say in Sweden. Small pieces of a potato bag works wonders with this character. Come to think of it, Krimskrams is actually the better word. A few sticks in the mix, why not? Potato bag fashion is the new black, of course.
we use masking tape to attach little branches on the fingers and then we paint the hands with green and brown to get that muddy tone. And there you have it! Your Assassin's Creed meets the forest meets the pumpkin man uh, kind of character. Gotta love it! Did you like this tutorial? If you did, be sure to check out our other videos. And hey, do us a favor and share this with your friends.